if you are in real estate, you are in the most opportune time to set yourself up, yourself up for massive success. I'm Antoine Thomas. I um, want to break down for you guys how to score quickly in your business and how you could really set yourself up to have a great year, rest of the year, and to set yourself up for the following year as well. Okay. I believe that it really starts with your mind and having the awareness that yes, we are in a market shift. Things are different. You got different conversations. You're now having to master when you're talking to the consumer, you have uh, diff- more, more, maybe more activities you gotta, you gotta do, maybe different activities you gotta do today. But in order for you to even do any of that, it's gonna start with your mindset because the market, yes, we're, we're in a different market. Now we're not in a bad market, we're not in a good market, but we're in an action market. So it doesn't matter how difficult um, the media may portray the market to be, I know for a fact, this is an opportunity for an agent who has the correct mindset and has taken the correct action to do even more business than they did in previous markets, okay? With that being said, I am a team leader. I lead my team and I am currently testing uh, different strategies, um, putting our marketing dollars into different marketing vehicles, right? Um, And getting feedback and I'm learning what works and what doesn't work. And then I'm bringing it back to my team and I'm even bringing it back to people who are gonna watch this video. And it's very clear that if you today start working on building serious momentum in your business. How do you build momentum? You build serious momentum by focusing on the positive and focusing on the activities, focusing on the positive. That means keeping yourself protected from the negativity, protecting your mind, putting yourself through um, a positive challenge. Maybe it's waking up earlier and working out. Maybe it's waking up and reading a book where you used to never read. Now you read a page or two pages, five pages a day. Maybe it's, um, it could be meditation, but it's something to keep you in a positive mind frame, a positive state of mind. And then the activities, are you coming to the office still? Or were you showing up at the office at all? Either way, show up to the office now. Start connecting with people, okay? Start calling people, reaching out to people, seeing if they need anything, see if they have any questions about real estate. These are the activities that you need if you want to take advantage of the most opportune time in, I believe, real estate that we've ever seen. Are you, here's another action, and this also goes into the mindset, the positive, right? Because positivity comes from being confident as well. Because if you're not confident in your profession, you're probably not going to be in a positive mind frame. So are we working on our skills every day? Are we role-playing every day with um, other high-level players in in the space are we gaining confidence? Real estate is a game of confidence, period. It's a game of confidence. It's not about talent. Um, it's about who the, who is the person who's taking action and working on their skills. Consistent execution that builds confidence will take you to the next level. Consistent execution that builds confidence will take you to the next level, all right? So keeping it simple, executing on the actions. Here's what you need to do. Because again, we are in an action economy. We are not in a bad economy. We're not in a bad real estate market. 
We're not in a good economy. We're not in a good real estate market. We are in an action market. So here's what you need to do. If you want to score quickly and take the right action. For the next 90 days, I want you to focus on MIA, which is massive inspired action. Actually, even before that, let's take a step back, okay? Number one, before you even take action, I want you to get clear on that one thing that if you do take action, what is that one thing that you would be able to accomplish that would make your heart sing? And it could be personal, it could be business, but what is that one thing? Like if if you have an income goal over the next four months of $50,000, right? If you made $50,000 more over the next four months, what would you do with that money that would give you that would that would give you the feeling of fulfillment of accomplishment uh, that would make your heart sing? Get clear on what that is. One thing, okay? What is the most important thing? Once you're clear on that, write it down. Keep that with you, okay? Keep it with you. Always refer back to that every day to recharge you for the day. After you do that, over the next 90 days, we need to take massive inspired action. you got to take action, period. And you have to be consistent over the next 90 days. Get clear on your calendar. How many days over the next 90 days am I going to work? Am I working Monday through Saturday? Maybe for the rest of the month of August, I'm going to work uh, six days a week, Monday through Saturday. I'm committed to taking Sundays off. And then September, get clear on that each week. How many days are you going to work? Plan out, map out your schedule. That way you're clear on, oh, today's a work day. All right, I'm in the office doing what I got to do. Today's an off day. Okay, I'm putting the phone away. I'm spending time with family or doing something that I enjoy to do. That is how you are consistent as you have the plan and you have faith in the plan. Now, the action that you're taking, reach out and talk to, actually, let's make it very simple. Talk to 10 people a day if you're not talking to anyone. If you're not talking to anyone, talk to 10 people a day. For everyone else, the amount of people that you talk to on average per day, I want you to talk to 10 more people. So if you average 15 people per day that you talk to, I want you to talk to 25 people now on average per day. If you talk to zero people per day, you're now talking to 10 people per day. And you're going to do that over the next 90 days for every work day. While you're doing that, you're going to make sure Every morning, you are getting those contacts in before noon. That is your goal. Before noon, I have to have talked to 10 people, 15, 20, 25, 45, whatever that number is. Now, you may get to a point where you're already talking to 30, 40, 50 people a day. So to add 10 more people, okay, you may have to um, utilize a dialer. You may have to find a way to... Um, to be more efficient. There may be some things you got to remove in your calendar to give you the time to free up the time to make those additional 10 contacts. Okay. Have it done before noon. Allow the afternoons for yourself to do a few things. Okay. And you have the option. You could continue to, to make the reach outs and build up your data, your database and build those relationships and strengthen those relationships. You could use the afternoon to go on appointments, showings, meet with sellers, buyers, or you can use that time to go home and relax. You can use that time to spend doing something that fills your cup because you've completed the most important thing that you needed to do in the morning. It's your choice. Okay. But you're going to do that for 90 days. Think about it this way. Steph Curry, he makes 500 shots per day. 
he keeps it simple. Shoot, shoot, shoot. All right. He's an all-time great. I'm sure most people will agree. If you want to get paid like a Steph Curry, who was consistently doing the boring stuff every single day, mastering his craft, if you want to get paid like an all-star, superstar athlete, you have to take the same approach in your business. And all I'm, all I'm saying is just make it for the next 90 days, okay? And here's the good news. Your competition is not doing this. That's why this is an action economy. The people who are taking action every day, the right action, they will quickly start taking or getting momentum and taking market share. That's all you got to do. So again, we're not in a bad economy. We're not in a good economy. We're in an action economy. We're not in a bad real estate market. We're not good real estate market. We're not in any of those. We are in an action market. If you're committed to talking to 10 more people per day on average over the next 90 days, you have your schedule built out. You're making, you're making sure you're in a positive mind frame by doing something in the morning that puts you in that state. You're going to be in a greater place today or in 90 days than you are today. I can almost guarantee you that. Okay. That's all I got for you guys. Hey, like, comment, subscribe. If you agree with me, uh, let me know. If you disagree with me, let me know. If I missed something, let me know. But either, either way, take care. I'll see you guys on the next one.